Welcome to the What's Happening Birmingham video podcast. Hello everyone, this is Jarvis S. Scott with What's Happening in Birmingham. Today I am back with Leah Wiggins of Farmers Insurance. We're back with part two about reasons why you should have life insurance for families. So Leah, thank you again. Thank you. Enjoy being here. Thank you again for part two. So let's kind of just dig a little bit deep into this topic. You know, the springtime, we got wedding season. Mm -hmm. People inviting people, weddings, baby shower, things like Mm -hmm. that. What are some things people, even thinking about those events, but just established families should think about when it comes to life insurance? Yeah, Um, those are very good reasons uh, to consider life insurance. Mm-hmm. There's someone else in your life now. There has been a change or an mm-hmm. adjustment. There's a baby. There's uh, someone going off to school, graduation. Uh, and those are all reasons why life insurance is mm-hmm. important. Because mm-hmm. the bottom line to life insurance is because you care about someone else. Mm-hmm. You're concerned about their future. Yeah. You're concerned about not uh, having them without the things that are important to them and helping them get a jump start on life. Mm-hmm. And so life insurance is a very good time um, for, excuse me, those situations that you mentioned is a, a very good time to consider the life insurance and to review what you already had to see if it's still sufficient for your family. Uh, sometimes there's a blended family that comes about mm-hmm. um, and there were um, new children that mm-hmm. are added to the family and there's a new spouse mm-hmm. or a change of spouse. Mm-hmm. Life happens mm-hmm. and so you need to look at life insurance if you're concerned about um, your family, which most people um, do have some concern for others. And so um, we talk with people every day about their situation, what has happened different in their life and, um, and this is June, uh, this is halfway mark, so this is a good time for the review that you haven't done for this year and to reassess Mm -hmm. as well. And so we spend time setting up reviews even in our own agency, Mm -hmm. talking with our clients. We call them, we uh, see, okay, has something happened in your Mm -hmm. life? Have we had an update? Oh, I got married, I forgot to tell you. Oh, yeah. Oh, you have a husband on here now, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this is a very good time and that's a very good point to bring up that um, when you look at life insurance because you're ready to protect your family, plan for the future, Mm -hmm. and even uh, just make sure that the worst, even if the worst does come, you're protected. All right, so let's kind of dig in the weeds, because I know people are going to be watching. The number one question they're going to be asking is maybe how much, but let me give you a scenario. So you got a family of four, Mm -hmm. husband and wife, both make $150,000 a year apiece. Some unexpected happens to them. How much insurance and I know I'm giving kind of like, you know, background information because I've heard a term, you should always get enough insurance to replace the number of years. Can you kind of talk a little bit more about that because mm-hmm. once people start thinking about how much should I get? Yeah. yeah. So how much insurance should you get? So that goes back to, you just talked about how much life insurance and they have an unexpected thing. This gets into more than just life insurance. This gets mm-hmm. into your financial uh, well-being and mm-hmm. it gets into what you have in your emergency fund and what mm-hmm. you have access to mm-hmm. and what's liquid for mm-hmm. you. Um, And so that varies from person to person. Mm -hmm. So um, if I come in the door and I got three months or six months in an emergency fund somewhere in a savings account Mm -hmm. or in a checking account, Mm -hmm. um, then maybe I don't need to have as much life insurance. Mm -hmm. And if I um, anticipate on continuing to have that, Mm -hmm. then no, maybe I don't. But again, I say the life insurance is the quickest way to build an estate. Mm -hmm. Everybody doesn't have some money sitting off in the bank somewhere that they can e- e- um, easily access. Mm-hmm. But if you have life insurance, you can build an estate and you may have cash that you can take advantage of. Mm-hmm. It takes some years for that to happen. Everything mm-hmm. is in time. Mm-hmm. But um, generally speaking, as it relates to the face value, you dep- that depends on you. What does it take to run your household? Okay. So if everybody makes $150,000 in the house, a husband and a wife, um, and if that only the husband is doing everything for the house and the wife is care, uh, I'm, please don't take this literally, but one spouse is uh, taking care of the things in the house mm-hmm. and one is taking care of the actual household, okay. um, then it may vary. So all I'm saying is you determine how much that worth or value or what you are saving mm-hmm. from the other spouse to determine what the face value is. You can use a calculator like, uh, 
five years mm -hmm. um, income and do $150,000 times five years. But sometimes when people grieve, mm -hmm. um, or some people may use two years because they say, okay, two years, you should have gotten it together mm -hmm. in my past, mm -hmm. and then you're out here looking for a job again. You may want to take off some time for a year, mm -hmm. but after two years, the expectation is that you, you're you going back in, into the workforce. So that's all in terms of what you determine um, is the best amount. Um, some people, and I, and I have personally experienced, there took some, some people that I've been around, it took them, you know, six months to get over the death of the person. I mean, emotional mm -hmm. to get over it. And then others, it took two years or three years or five years. And it's like, I'm finally at a point that I can move on with my life, so to mm -hmm. speak, and at least get up and begin to go back to work. So you don't know. That's mm -hmm. the whole thing. You don't know. Mm -hmm. So what you do for a rule of thumb, I say, use a calculator. Say how many years you want to cover the income for. Determine that face value. Say it's going to be 150,000 times, we'll just say two for ease, 300,000. And determine, um, can you afford that $300,000 policy? Mm -hmm. And work from there. Because it's going to depend on what you can keep in force because life insurance is only as good as that which is in force. All right, so this, said a lot. so this is what I was thinking about too that a lot of people don't think about. College, if the kids are in toddlers, if they haven't arrived at college, somehow, some way, college has to be paid for. Yeah. And I've seen some cases where people use life insurance or get a, you know, another big yeah. amount yeah. for that and everything. But can you talk about, and I know people are sitting here thinking about this, where I have work insurance. Uh -huh. What are some of the pitfalls sometimes with having just the job insurance instead of getting additional. Okay, so you asked me two things. You asked me to talk about planning for college and you asked mm -hmm. me for um, work insurance. So I'll start with the college plan because this is, May is college planning month. Mm -hmm. And so a lot of people who have had uh, instruments in place, you can use life insurance because that's part of the cash value that I talked about. If you, if you have a whole policy, a uh, permanent life policy, that has been building up cash over the years, mm -hmm. you may be able to take money from that to offset some college expenses. That is one tool you can use. And uh, having you know children in my own situation, I understand the value of that because if you start early, mm -hmm. when they're two and three years old, uh, paying into a policy, you can take advantage of the cash value that's left in there for college. Mm -hmm. And I know a lot of times we, we say our children are going to be smart, they're going to get scholarships, they're going to get their college paid for, so I'm not going to worry about the college planning and I'm not worried about, uh, but things happen, they may not be on the scholarship for a while, and so that's always something you can utilize through the life insurance if you wanted to. Or you can get the tool that's specifically designed for college planning, some people refer, I mean, I have heard of the 529, mm -hmm. and you can put money, or some other college savings plan, mm -hmm. and put money into it and use it just for those college expenses. So, you know, if you have the, uh, if you built up the, if you, if you plan, you have options where you can use the money in various ways that can help you, but you have to plan for that. So, the first thing about that is the plan. And the second thing is, um, as it relates to a job, um, sometimes our desires or the job shuts down and we leave and we move on. Mm -hmm. And there are a lot of companies that offer life insurance, but typically it is a group policy mm -hmm. that's based on you being at that job. Mm -hmm. And if you leave that job, you a lot of times cannot take that insurance with you. So you're left at 37 or 45 mm -hmm. getting life insurance for you based on your health status mm -hmm. and age at that time. Mm -hmm. So there's always an encouraging thing that we say is, what happens if you change jobs? Uh, you're healthy now. Mm -hmm. Why don't you look at the life insurance now and that will be already in place if you decide to start your new business, if you decide to change jobs and there's a time period when you're not on a job. So you'll have that in place. Okay, what you say for people right now, say like their husband or their wife is an entrepreneur yeah. and they'll say, well, I don't need life insurance because we own the business and blah, 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 but let's just say you throw out the scenario they have multiple business partners mm -hmm. and how, you know, that can get all crossed up. So you can talk a little bit more about the reason why it needs it. Yeah, so um, that goes back to the key partner and the business partner mm -hmm. uh, uh, 
option or policy, well, what the utilization is for. It's all a life insurance policy. It's just what you use it for, and that's what the title comes from. But um, if you are an entrepreneur, that's probably more, even more of a reason why yes. you should have uh, life insurance because, unfortunately, uh, fortunately, the small business is what runs this country, but unfortunately, they're not sustained because of lack of uh, money. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times that could be because of loss of a partner in the business. Mm -hmm. So here again, using life insurance to fund um, uh, the situation with a partner or to look at what their value is, um, is very important. So you can utilize it in that aspect to uh, actually take uh, the money that came from a benefits from that life insurance policy to get another a new partner because if this is a fledging business you're going to need somebody to come up immediately to take the spot of your uh partner god forbid their demise is early mm -hmm. and it's not going to be some joke go off the street it's mm -hmm. going to be some talented somebody who has an experience in the business you're going to have to pay them and so you can use the benefits to bring them on board and say hey this is what we can uh, offer to you and we need you in this space to keep this business going okay so let's kind of shift gears a little bit how do you kind of bring that start that conversation mm -hmm. about life insurance you know from a, I guess that's the best thing to say different part because a lot of times people have a hard time talking about the topic yeah how do you kind of yeah, um, it's relational, I believe, um, and I think it was important because I do have a multi-line agency. We have an opportunity to talk with people about a lot of different things. We talk with them about um, their children. We talk with them about um, their businesses, and so that kind of leads into other things of a conversation because people typically, if they trust you, they'll begin to share things with you, okay. and I've been fortunate that people trust me, mm -hmm. and we get that conversation growing, so it's not something that we go out here and say, go buy life insurance, you need mm -hmm. life insurance, mm -hmm. we don't beat people over the head with that, mm -hmm. it usually just evolves, mm -hmm. it just comes up in the conversation, so, um, and it comes out of the emotional ties, and so, mm -hmm. Um, although life insurance in this business is not necessarily emotional, it does uh, lend to opportunities where you can talk about it, where you're not beating people over the head. And if you love somebody, you care about them, and if you love your, your children, you can share that with them that uh, if you love your family, you, you don't want them to be um, tied up or hemmed up or uh, on the hook mm -hmm. for expenses um, if you pass. And that kind of um, engages them as well. All right, so I know some people are saying, thinking like, okay, well, you know, do life insurance, the death happens. How long does it take to get the yeah. benefit check? Yeah, know? so typically what happens is you have to provide uh, proof of death. Okay. And as soon as you can get that, and the cause of death is on there, of course, and it does not conflict with what is outlined in that policy, mm -hmm. you can get paid on it. It's fairly quick. Right. Yeah, so unless you have a policy. So it, it's fairly quick, but um, they the, what the company looks to see on a death certificate is that it does not conflict as a reason for death with what that policy had outlined for originally, such as suicide in some cases. All right. So for more information, yeah. I'd like to contact you and how I heard your insurance agent. <laughs> What's the phone number? Yeah, so uh, leahwiggins.com is our website. <laughs> Our number is 205-325-1745, and we are on all the social media platforms, Leah Wiggins, uh, Agency of Farmers Insurance, and you can reach us any of those means. All right. Anything, last thoughts you want to add? Uh, last Someone? thoughts is uh, the future and the legacy uh, is uh, very important, so uh, if you want to help protect and help make sure that our families are prepared that's just a tool you can use life insurance and it can be customized in any manner so there's no strict rules in, in terms of um, if you need a term or a whole life just let us talk to you and uh, we'll figure out what works for, best for you all right well Leah, thank you for two seconds i know a lot of you guys are me and send these people down for multiple seconds but it's fun it's fun but i hope it's been very informative educational and like leah said you know, life insurance is very important because at the end of the day, we, we do not want GoFundMe right. to pay for funerals right. and everything else. So, 
Thank you all again. Please check out my website, what's happening in Birmingham.com. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more additional videos. Thank you all again. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching the What's Happening Birmingham video podcast. Please check out our website app or subscribe to our YouTube channel for the latest videos today.